So, is the medical tourism market growing? Answer, yes and no. Uh, and what you need to understand about this market it is a very complex market that's made up of lots of market niches. And in some of those market niches, you'll see growth, and in some of those market niches, you'll see decline. What you must not do is believe the, the myth, the kind of claims of exponential growth in the medical tourism market. This is not happening, but there are some great opportunities there. You need to pick and choose where you're going to go for new business. I want to give you two examples of stuff that's going on in the medical tourism market at the moment. Let's take the golf market, which is traditionally one of the high-earning source markets for countries like the UK, Germany, USA, and which is now being targeted by what you would describe as developing medical tourism destinations. Now, the problem that golf has is the oil price. So countries such as Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, that have always earned vast sums of money from oil are now under pressure. Their governments are under pressure to reduce price, reduce costs. And so what they're doing is cutting back on healthcare expenditure. And a couple of recent examples, I think um, in Kuwait, it used to run a thing called the Supreme Committee for Overseas Treatment. Then they are restructuring that. And the, the value of the Kuwaiti government spend on overseas treatment has dropped by 50% over the last 12 months based on the figures published by the government. In Bahrain, we've got something similar going on. The health minister clearly states that he's intending to reduce the number of citizens travelling abroad paid for by the government. So this isn't great news. So that's one market where you can't say there's exponential growth. If anything, the, the value and the volume is in decline. So let's take another one which presents a much more positive picture, uh, and that's fertility travel. Um, we have a lot of examples, I have some stats here from our fertility treatment abroad site, where we're seeing an increase of something like 25, 30% in patients interested in fertility travel. So why is that? Well, patients pay for themselves, they're not being funded by governments, and where governments and public health systems are cutting back on expenditure and spending less on what are kind of areas of treatment that are optional, such as fertility, then that's encouraging more patients to travel. And that's why at the Medical Travel Summit in Croatia, we've dedicated one session specifically to fertility travel to highlight some of the opportunities and showcase some of the best examples of IVF clinics around Europe that have really kind of benefiting from that market niche.